Hey, don't bother with school today, love. Come down the hospital with me. Visit your mum and the little fella. What? And listen to us spout off our adoption's a good thing? No thanks, I'd rather be at school. Eh? Oh, there'll be no more talk like that, believe me. She's not the only one with a say in all this. Yeah, well, my dad can hardly do much from prison, can he? Morning, Dad. Hey, son. Are you going to see Steph? Sure no one messes with the dingles? No, not today, son. Hey. Hey, unless you go and ask Steph for your job back, you can put that right back where you found it. Well, go and beg for me job back. Don't talk daft. Yeah, Steph's the one who should be begging me dad. Yeah, that's right. She's took my job. I'm, I'm not going to let her take my dignity as well. Right, well, then you won't be needing that, will uh, you? No, you don't understand it. It's for petrol and some cigarettes. Oh, you're going to see Kane. Well, what good will that do? Give him a chance to have his say. Uh, and then I'm going to go and see Charity and give it a piece of my mind. Long night. Yep. Between Jean and getting this tender finished, I'm exhausted. Yeah, why not? It'll be worth it when we win the bid. If. We win. I don't want to jinx it. Hiya. Uh, do you mind if I make a call? My battery's died. Go ahead. As long as it's not international. I'll tell you what, why don't I go and make her some breakfast? Good idea. I'll come with you. Another six boxes after this lot. I want them finished and on that truck first thing in the morning. So, I'd like you to cut down on the coffee rounds, fag breaks and go into the loo. Yeah, but what if you can't hold it? Oh, Sam. Lisa, it's nice of you to put in an appearance. She's got a nerve. Oh, look at this. She's just found Zach and she still expects us to work like dogs. Well, Eric would never have stood for it. That's not quite fair. You can't blame Steph entirely. It's about time a Royal Linus realised she's going to get her own way all the time. I say we fight for Zach Dingle. Now, who's with me? Oh, count me in. Me, I am. Sounds exciting. What have you got in mind? She ought to be at the hospital with her mother. I bet the visiting hours are far more civilised than the prison charities normally looked up in. Maybe she's on her way there, choosing Charity Magazine. Bevy, my sweet, what are you doing? Debbie might need some help choosing the right magazine. You on the way to the hospital? No, actually, I'm not. Not that it's any of your business, Viv. No, well, I can't say I blame you with your mother being a murderer. Still, what about your baby brother? My mum is innocent. And even if she wasn't, it won't stop me from seeing her. I'm not going because my mum's decided to give him away. All right. Give it away? I don't know why your mother keeps having children. It's obvious she doesn't want them. Mrs Hope! She didn't mean it. Well, she's right, isn't she? Imagine. Mother, murderess, Kane Dingle as a father. <laughs> I'd be begging them to give me away. Ah, Jarvis and etc. cetera. Have you all made an appointment? Shelley, get me a cup of coffee, please. We demand your reinstate, Zach Dingle. On a full week's pay. I see. I see you're asking me to reinstate a man who ridiculed my authority and left his workstation without prior notice. He went to pick Debbie up. It was an emergency. Speaking of which, why isn't he here asking for his job back? Well, it's not up to him to beg for his job back off you. Oh, Eric won't be very happy about this. It's not right. It's unfair dismissal. Law requires you to give three warnings. Thank you, Shelley. And I did. All three came just before lunch. Now, we've got a deadline to meet. So I suggest you all scurry back to your workstations like good little worker ants. Fine. If you insist on doing it a bit book, then so will we. Fine. Chop, chop. Zach, what a pleasant surprise. Couple of packets of facts, please, Viv. And what about a nice bunch of flowers for charity and the new baby? No, thanks. Yeah, you're right. Flowers aren't really suitable when she's going to give the baby away. Who told you that? Debbie. She seemed very upset. 
Well, it's to be expected, really, seeing as Charity keeps abandoning all her children. If I were you, I'd make sure I got my facts straight before I started spreading malicious gossip. I'm only saying what I hear. You hear this. There isn't going to be any adoption. Kane's son will be brought up at home, where he belongs. Kane's son? Are you absolutely positive about this? Mrs Hope? Well, just get me facts straight. Any more talk like that, you'll have me to answer to. Oh, I just remembered. I promised Scott I'd drop some nappies round for him for Jean. Mrs Hope, please don't get involved and cause any more trouble. Oh, honestly, Emily, sometimes you've got such a suspicious mind. Good to be back, eh? <laughs> it's funny. I was up at dawn, I'm filthy, and I'm shoveling manure, but I feel great. Oh, please. You've only gone five minutes. Oh, yeah. leave him. You'd feel the same about being parted from your car. <laughs> so, about your honeymoon? Now Katie's not around, you can be honest. Yeah, it was good. It's good. Well, is that it? It's supposed to be the holiday of a lifetime. <laughs> well, I don't know. Katie did seem a bit distracted at the beginning, but maybe the wedding just took everything out of her. I reckon you should start with the honeymoon. You know, get a good sun time. Then when you're totally relaxed, then get married. I just hope Kate remembers it as a good time. Oh, I shouldn't worry about it. She's probably just stressed. It's hard work organising the wedding. I yeah, just overcome at the thought of spending a lifetime with you, eh? Call out and Stokes, fancy goods. Eric! I'm in the middle of the night where you are. <sighs> Don't be silly. Everything's fine. Tickety-boo. The only thing you need to worry about is what Japanese silk you bring me back. What? Uh, no, I can't hear anything. It must be your end. Oh, you're breaking up, Eric. The line's gone all crackly. I tell you what, love, I'll ring you back. Nobody panic. <laughs> Just a drill. Oh, Sorry, didn't mean to give you a fright. Well, what's going on? Ah, uh, 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 good, good, good question. I noticed we were overdue a fire drill. Now, according to the employer guidelines, that's a criminal offence. I'm sure you won't want to be taken to court now, would you? Uh, outside, everyone, outside! Come on, come on. Mum, we didn't have to do this, you know. We've got enough nappies to last us a lifetime. That's what grandmother's for, besides, so he's got enough on her plate without having to worry about Jean. How's she bearing up? How's she bearing up? What do you mean? Well, now Charity's decided to give her baby up. Oh, I see. That's what you've come here for, is it? To, to spread gossip? Me? Don't be absurd. Aren't you going to offer me a cup of tea? Mum, Zoe hardly slept last night. She's worried about a business deal. Can we not do this another time? But all I, I mean it. I thought I heard voices. Yeah, it was just a uh, my mum and three bags of nappies. Uh, kind but unnecessary. Yeah. Don't tell me. She was asking about Charity's baby. Well, next time she wants some gossip, tell her not to bother looking here. I'll be at my desk. You looking for something? M my timesheet. I worked through my break and I just wanted to make a note before I forgot. Oh. Let's hope you're this conscientious with everything else. Right, I shall be on my mobile if anyone needs me. Uh, good luck. You'll blow the competition out of the water. saw you, I hope. Oh, give me a little credit. Do you want another? Can't. Promised Sadie I'd take her shopping. Looks like you made some friends of your own, anyway. By the by, your wife called. Here's a tip. Don't spend all afternoon staring while your workmate restocks the bar, cleans the glasses, serves the customers. Sorry, Bob, I didn't realise it was that obvious. 
Another drink? No, I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Well, that depends. How do you fancy picking up my dry cleaning and bringing it over to my place when you finish work? <laughs> uh, no, I've got a better idea. Um, why don't you pick up your own dry cleaning and uh, while you're out, you could um, buy us a nice bottle of red. So you'll come then? Perhaps. Suppose this means you want me to cover your evening shift? Thanks, Bob. I won't forget this. I didn't say I'd do it. What are you staring at? Nothing. Aren't you going to ask how my brother is? Don't insult me by pretending that you care. Teenagers these days, they can be so rude. So, I suppose with her mother in prison, she's finding it very hard to adapt to the idea of the adoption. Adoption? Yes. A bit like you and our Jean, really. Except you changed your mind and uprooted the poor thing all over again. I don't think it's your place to judge me. We're talking about my granddaughter here. Besides, I can't help my maternal instincts, can I? And you know, my Scott was premature. I guess some babies can't stand to stay inside their mother any longer than absolutely necessary. Where's Andy? Out. Some kind of sheep emergency. Well, then why are you here? I need to see you. No, you didn't, Robert. I'm married now. We're over. Well, that's not what I heard. Andy said you went yourself on honeymoon. You couldn't stop thinking about me, could you? Don't flatter yourself. Well, if it's not true, then why are you avoiding me? You're worried about what you might do. I'm not avoiding you, Robert. I'm married. Things are different now. Well, not for me. But what about Donna? No. No, actually, I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything about you anymore. You should go. Fine. If you can't be mature about this, then it's not my problem. Hi, right, Rob. I thought we was going for a beer. Sorry, I've got a text from Donna. She can't get enough of me. <laughs> hey. Paints down. Work day is officially over. Uh, may maybe we should check with Steph first. You are either with us or without us. <sighs> and where do you think you're going? 5.30. Yes, I can tell the time. Thank you, Jarvis. Look, I need you all to work late. After your little fire drill escapade, I need you all to make up lost time. Well, my husband has just lost his job, so I have got to go home and cheer him up. Let me make myself crystal clear. That order will be on that truck first thing in the morning, even if I have to finish it myself. Now, you have two choices. You can either walk out that door or you can stay here and work late. It's entirely up to you. But know this. You walk out that door and there will be consequences. So, who fancies a pint? <laughs> Watch out for that gold paint. It's a bit gluggy. Well, <sighs> looks like it's you and me, Shell. Sorry, Steph. I said I'd meet Alan. Oh, silly me. Slipped my mind. I tell you what, I'll write it on the back of my hand so I don't forget. Fat Shelley Williams. Backstabber. Still here? Shouldn't you be running along? Catch up with your new friends. She's unbelievable. I specifically asked her not to say anything. Do you want me to go and have a word with her? No, it's all right. Thank you. Let's just talk about something else. Well, there's uh, the emails we need to discuss and the council. I just wish she wouldn't judge me. Yes, I did put Jean up for adoption. It was a mistake, I admit that, but... Charity, it's a totally different set of circumstances. It's got nothing to do with me. Are you not a little bit curious about the baby? No, of course not. Why would I be? And I'm sorry, but I can't muster up any sympathy for Charity after she... Is there not the slightest possibility that the baby might be Chris's? Absolutely not. It's got nothing to do with my family. It can rush in hell for all I care.
Where's Debbie? Oh, uh, someone about a test at school. She didn't want to miss it. Well, I haven't changed my mind if that's why you're here. I'm not here to argue. No. I know things look rough at the moment, but... Me and Lisa want you to know that we're here. That we're ready to help you. Dingles, don't turn their backs on you. Are you wasting your breath, Zach? Because giving this baby up is the right thing to do. And there's no you can say that'll make me change my mind. Huh? Well, there's no you can say that'll make me leave here before I've made you see sense. Let me guess. You failed the homework I helped you with and now you want payback. No, it's nothing really. I was just passing. Congratulations on your new brother, by the way. Yeah, well, not really much to celebrate, is there? Mum's decided to give him up for adoption. I see. Well, go on then. I know you're dying to give me the church's view. No, I'm sorry, but well, maybe sometimes it's the right thing to do. I mean, you turned out okay. Yeah, but it was different with me. Mum was only 13 when I was born. She had no one. Now she's got Zach, Lisa, and my dad. Do anything to take care of that baby. No, I guess from the other side of a prison cell, I might not feel like that. I wouldn't blame your mum if she felt alone, even though she's had you visiting her every day. You didn't go today. Well, no, I didn't, because I was angry with her. Well, that's not a good excuse. She'd probably prefer you there yelling and screaming at her than not showing up at all. Yeah, maybe. Fine, I'll go and visit her. But you can give me a lift. Oh, um... Yeah, 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 I suppose I can take you. But on one condition, I'd pick the music. Well, <clears throat> here's to an evening together, just the two of us. What's she done now? Alan, she called me a Judas. As awful. There we are. Just let me know if there's anything else I can get you. Bob, if, you, if you've got a moment, uh, it's rather a delicate subject, but I don't like to say anything with Marlon being nearly family. It's the sauce. Awful, isn't it? How did you know? I've had three complaints already. Well, have you said anything to Marlon? No. You know how sensitive he can be. Well, would you like me to talk to him? Thanks, Alan. I think it's best coming from me. I just don't know what to say, that's all. Well, I think he'd appreciate your honesty as, as long as he knows we're all there for him. Wish me luck. Oh. So where are you going? I'm sorry, Alan, but you're right. Steph needs my support. I can't bear the thought of her at that factory all on her own. I'll see you later. Marlon, we've had... Marlon? What about the baby, Zach? It wouldn't be fair on him, would it? Growing up with his mother behind bars, what kind of child is that for a lad? And what about Debbie? She'll wind up babysitting it when she should be going out getting a life of her own. Oh, don't talk daft. It wouldn't be like that. Kane will see to it. Oh, yeah, cos Kane will be over at Moon, won't he? He's hardly Mr Responsibility, is he? Well, that's not what he told me this morning. You went to see him behind me back? Look, if he wasn't in oh. prison, he would be here now instead of me, trying to talk some sense into you. He is a good father. And you've seen what he's like with Debbie. You're right, he's a wonderful father. I went and got himself locked up. And, and leaving you and Lisa to look after Debbie's daughter. For crying out loud! He's only in prison because of you! Because he was doing his best to try and keep the family together to protect you. And you're doing your best to try and break it all up. You owe him charity, and he deserves the right no, to bring Zach, up his I own child. No, I owe him child. nothing! Chances are it's not even his anyway. Face it, Zach. There is every possibility that your grandson's a tit. And that changes everything, doesn't it? Oh. Huh. Come back for the knife you left in me back. Do you remember when we worked in Dalston? You were acting manager for a half day. 
By lunchtime, all the senior stylists had quit. Not to mention the work experience, girl. Technically, that wasn't my fault. Some people find it hard to adjust to change. Fact is, Steph, if you treat your staff better, they'll work harder. A good boss never gets her hands dirty. I do not need advice, thank you, from a traitor like you. Fine, if you don't want me help. Oh, OK, OK, you've twisted me arm. Should we order a pizza? Think about it, Zach. Would you really want to raise a tit? Of course you wouldn't. You'd end up hating him, you won't be able to stop yourself. Well, I don't want this kid growing up where it's not wanted. He is wanted. Dad wants him, I want him, and so do you. It's not Chris, I know he ain't. Right, that's it. No more games, Charity. You have to have one of them tests. No! This is my baby and I won't have Kane or any Tate telling me what to do, right? You stubborn mare! You're just letting your pride get in the way of doing what's right. Like I said, this is my decision. No, that's where you're wrong. All I ever wanted was to belong to a family. I know what it's like to wonder who your real parents are. And now you want to put my brother through exactly the same thing. But you can't. I won't let you. Right. You can have your stupid paternity test. And then will you both just let me be? If it's a turn, you can do what you like. But when I prove that baby is Kane's son, he will be brought up by the Dingles. Thank you.